जी लैब नंबर फाइव इज बी पी बी टू एक्सेसरी कोड कन्वर्जन वट इज़ अ कोड कन्वर्टर अ कोड कन्वर्टर इज अ कम्बीनेशनल सर्किट दैट ट्रांसलेट एंड इनपुट कोड वर्ड इन टू अ न्यू क्रोस्पॉन्डिंग कोड वर्ड इन दिस लैब यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द बी पी डी टू एक्सेसरी कोड कन्वर्जन एक्सेसरी कोड इज अपटेन बाई एडिंग थ्री टू द क्रोस्पॉन्डिंग बी सी डी डिजिट Let us take an example. There are four BCD codes given here, which is of zero, one, two, three. If we want to find the accessory code of two, we are going to add three in it. So, this is the BCD code of two, which is zero, zero, one, zero. If we are going to add three in it, we are going to have a new number, which is zero, one, zero, one. We can say this is the accessory code of two. Similarly, if we want to have an accessory code of nine, we are again going to add three in the BCD code of nine. The BCD code of nine is one zero zero one. If we add three in it, we are going to have a new code which is one one zero zero. We can say it as the accessory code of nine. From this table, you can verify that the accessory code of Two is zero one zero one. Similarly, the accessory code of nine is one one zero zero. In BCD, we consider the first number, which is from zero to nine. All the other numbers, which are from ten to fifteen, are invalid in BCD. So the output for accessory will be a don't care condition for these numbers. If we want to draw the circuit of accessory converter, we are going to draw the K map using the four output, which are W, X, Y, Z. So we get four equations. One is of W. This is of X. This is of Y, and this is of V. If we plot these equations, we are going to have this circuit of accessory code converter. we can also convert back the accessory code to the bcd code for this we are going to subtract 3 from the corresponding accessory code there are two ways of doing it one is by directly subtracting 3 from the accessory code here you can see 0101 is an accessory code we are going to subtract 3 to have a bcd code so if you subtract 0011 which is 3 from the accessory code we are going to have this number in bcd this number is 2 the other way is to take the negative of 3 and then add it in the accessory code so the negative of 3 is 1101 this is obtained by taking the two complement of 3 so as this number is already negative so we add it in the accessory code so this was our accessory code which is 0101 this is our negative number which is 3 negative 3 1101 so by adding both this number we are going to have our bcd code which is 0010 so if we compare both the results the result will be same so you can adopt any of the method to convert the accessory code to bcd we can also use four bit parallel error ic to convert the bcd to accessory code conversion this ic can also be used to convert the accessory code to bcd again and this is the circuit for the bcd to accessory code conversion Here is the first number. You can apply the BCD number here. You and the input three will be applied here. There are four XOR gates used. These four XOR gates are used basically as this circuit can convert BCD to accessory, and it also convert the accessory to BCD. 
so let us understand this circuit so if we apply zero at the carry input pin here we get zero here we get zero here we get zero and here we get zero the other pin of this xor gate is grounded this pin is also grounded so at the same inputs when the inputs will be same at both this pin which is zero output will be zero again here is zero here is zero the output will be zero if we consider these two xor gates one pin is connected with vct and the other pin is connected with zero which is you can say ground so here we get one so here we get zero zero one one which is three so this three will be added with the vcd number and we will have our access three code similarly in order to convert the access three code to vcd we are going to apply one here at the carry input so in this way we will get here one one zero zero and this carry will be added this to this one one zero zero and we will get one one zero one which is a negative of three number which will then add up with the this access three code input which will be applied here and we will have our bcd code here now let's see our in-lab tasks in lab task number one you are going to verify the results using this circuit first you have to verify the results of the bcd to access three code conversion and by you will by applying zero here then for the access three to bcd code can conversion you will apply one at the carry input here <coughs> in the lab task number two you will use this circuit to verify the results you have to do the post lab task yourself